Hey YouTube Access and Allies brethren, welcome back to Turret 2 in Wake Forest, North Carolina for this 42.2 version uh, Access and Allies battle between No Limit as the Allies and myself, Captain Jack, as the bad guy Axis powers. So this is Germany's round two turn, so this is G2. For this turn, Germany's going to be producing two subs, three tanks, two subs at 12, three tanks at 18, and a combination of four infantry, excuse me, two infantry and two artillery, which uh, totals 14. They had 48 IPCs uh, to spend, and they have, um, they'll have four left over for next round. So they're spending 44 with four left over, pr producing two subs, three tanks, two infantry, and two artillery. All right, so let me get ready for combat movement. All right, so for combat movement this round, if I can get my camera to stay right, It appears the camera does not want to cooperate with me. I apologize. Give me just a second. All right, so I think you guys can see all the combats in this round. There are four of them located by the yellow target markers. What we've got here is in Belarusia, four infantry from the Baltic states is going to move into Belarusia. Nine tanks from Poland is gonna also move into Belarusia. Two tanks from Germany are gonna go into Belarusia. And that'll leave one tank behind in Germany. All right. So again, four infantry from the Baltic States Nine tanks from Poland and two tanks from Germany are going to go into Belarusia. In the Ukraine, we've got the one tank that was left behind in Germany is going to go into Ukraine. One infantry from Poland is going into the Ukraine. And two fighters from Poland are going to go into the Ukraine. All right, in West Russia, two infantry from Karelia. So let me chip those out here. That'll leave four infantry behind in Karelia. So two infantry from Karelia in West Russia and two fighters from Poland. The other two fighters from Poland will be going into West Russia. Oh, forgot the chip. And the last battle will be an Archangel where four infantry from Karelia will move in along with the bomber from Germany. The bomber in Germany will have three movements left in its fuel gauge. Let me notate the fighters as well. The two fighters from Poland that went into Ukraine will have three movements left in their fuel gauge. And the two fighters that went into Karelia from Poland will have two movements left in their fuel gauge. I'm sorry, they went into West Russia from Poland. They'll have two movements left in their fuel gauge. All right, so first battle we'll do, we'll go ahead and start out in Belarusia, where we have four infantry from the Germany, nine tanks, and, excuse me, 11 tanks going up against one infantry and one artillery of Russia's. I'm not going to set that up on the board. We're just going to roll it out. Okay, so for the first roll, I'm just going to roll for five tanks. There's 11 tanks there, but we're going to roll five tanks and four infantry, because I only have five blue die for the blue tanks. So we're gonna roll nine dice all together, four for infantry, five for the tanks. Let's see if we can get our two hits. 
and we got plenty of hits. In fact, every one of the blue die hit. Every one of the blue dice hit, all of the black dice missed. So the Russian infantry and artillery have been destroyed. They will now return fire with two green, two hit dice. Here's the return fire. And they were both misses. All right, so the Battle of Belarusia is a landslide. Okay, so the Battle of Ukraine is one German tank, one German infantry, and two fighters going up against one lone Russian artillery. All right, so for one tank, we've got one blue die. For one infantry, we've got one black dice. And for the two fighters, we've got two more blue dice. Looking for one hit. Oh, and we'll go ahead and roll the uh, artillery for, um, for, um, for the Russians, since that's a green, two blue hit die. All, right, so all of them together. All right, so the two blue dice, two of the blue dice hit, destroying the artillery unit, and the one, sorry, there was a hair there, I had to get it out of the way. The one infantry, uh, artillery unit for Russia also missed. Again, another landslide. Victory. Next battle, in West Russia, we have two infantry at two black hit die and two fighters at two blue hit die going up against one lone uh, Russian infantry unit in West Russia. And we'll be able to roll all this together as well. The green dice represents the uh, infantry for, for Russia. All right, here we go. And again, we got the required hits and no hits on the green die for the Russian unit. All right. Next up will be Archangel. Okay, in Archangel, we have four infantry from Karelia with one bomber coming in. So four infantry will be four black one hit die and one red four hit die for the bomber. And the infantry unit for Russia will have will roll with a green two hit die. Let's see if the good rolls continue. All right, so we did get a hit. We got three hits, but the uh, Russian uh, infantry also got a hit as well. So they will take out one infantry unit from Germany, but the Russian unit has been destroyed in Archangel. All right, so for non-combat movements, the bomber in Archangel is gonna land in Karelia. All the fighters, the two fighters that win West Russia are gonna land in Karelia. And the two fighters in Ukraine are gonna move uh, three spaces and land in, excuse me, only two spaces and land in Karelia as well. So all the um, aircraft landed in Karelia. All right, so next up, we have the north. The fighters in Northwest Europe are gonna move one space to France. The subs in C-Zone 8, or excuse me, the subs are all gonna move two spaces. One, two, one, two, one, two. Actually, you only had to move one there, but they're all gonna move into C-Zone 8. So all three subs are in C-Zone 8 off the coast of France. Battleship in the Mediterranean is going to move to C Zone 14. The transport in the Mediterranean is going to pick up a tank and an infantry unit in Libya and move it to France. So a tank and an infantry unit from Libya are gonna consolidate and move up to France via transport. In North Africa, the troops in Libya, the, the infantry and the artillery are gonna move back into Algeria and the infantry in Morocco is gonna move to Algeria as well.
right. Three infantry and three artillery from Germany are going to move into Romania. And one last, one last uh, infantry unit is going to move from Germany to France. And I've also got one AA gun, or AAA gun, is going to move from Germany to Bulgaria, Romania. And the one AAA gun in Italy is going to also move to France. And the infantry, also the infantry that's in uh, Northwest Europe is going to move to France as well. So I'll chip all that out before I do the recap, make it look a little easier. So I believe that does it for the non-combat round. Let me chip this out and I'll come back for unit recap. All right, so the board looks a little better now. So for IPC update, Russia, now that it, since it lost in this turn, West Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus, it went down from 27 to 21 IPCs. It lost six IPCs. Germany went from 37 to 43. So it's at 43. Four IPCs to um, spend for next round. So uh, they'll have 47 total to spend for next round. Placement of new units. Two infantry are gonna go down in Germany. Three tanks are gonna go down in Germany. Two infantry are gonna go down into Germany. And two subs are gonna go down off the coast of Italy. All right, so for unit recap. C zone eight, there are three U-boats. In France, there are two fighters, two AA guns, one tank, and five infantry. In Germany, there, is, there are three tanks, two artillery, two infantry. In Bulgaria, Romania, there are four infantry, three artillery, and one AAA gun. In Ukraine, there's one tank and one infantry. West Russia, there's two infantry. In Belarus, there are 11 tanks and four infantry. In Karelia, there are four fighters and one bomber. And in Archangel, there are four infantry. Also for Archangel, I forgot about Archangel. So Russia will go down one more to 20. Germany will go up one more to 44. So they have 48 to spend next round. In the Mediterranean, there is a battleship and transport in C-Zone 14. In C-Zone 15, there are two subs. In Algeria, there's two infantry and one artillery. So I think that does it for the unit recap and for this entire turn. A very successful one, I think, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> but you know how No Limit is, he'll have, I'm sure he'll have some counteraction for all of this. So I can't wait to see what it is. All right, so from Turret 2 in Wake Forest, North Carolina, Captain Jacks, over and out.